Right, so is AI going to replace all those product designers? Are we all going to be unemployed and have no jobs to go to? So in this video, I'm going to go through these five points that I've made, which should give you some insight on whether this is a career worth even working in. So the first one is where I think AI is going to uh, take over, and that is UI design. So UI design for the majority of websites and apps, so that could be e-commerce websites and just simple you know, apps for like a local running club or something like that. I think the design will be done by AI. I've seen lots of tools. There's there's like website builders like Squarespace and stuff. And all of these are getting AI tools integrated. So the actual front end AI like UI design, I can I I've seen that dramatically be made shorter by by AI. So I don't think designers are gonna be in there kind of designing the physical layout as much. I think we're going to have a different role going forward. So I think there'll still be a little bit of design, but I think the majority of things where we will come in will be on the human side. So a major part of um, user experience design, product design, is interacting with customers and users. This is where AI isn't very, well, isn't as good. Obviously, you can have interactions with it. It could do surveys and kind of textual based things like that we all know ai avatars are a bit funny at the moment they're not really that realistic and people are in this uncanny valley where they don't really like talking to not real things i guess so meeting people in real life you know i think a lot of the job is going to be based um kind of interacting with users it could be on video calls it could be on real life that human nuance that you're talking to a real person you're asking them uh, like what problems they have with the software, how they find things. I think the human side and the authenticity is really, really going to be where designers move their careers towards more kind of on the user feedback and user research roles. I just think that's something that we can do that AI can't do. And I can see that's where we're going to shine. So the next one is kind of working within a business and understanding very unique business needs so a lot of the websites i design are actually the five percent of websites that aren't really cookie cutter and done by these ai tools they're actually very very specific one-off things so ai will be able to help design with them but you're still going to need a person in the large organizations to do these unique things and also understanding business requirements this is kind of mixed in with soft skills so working with people within the business um you know People tell you to design something, you do it, and then they'll tell you to design it 100 times. So when I design something, obviously it's version one, and it honestly, they go on to like version 50 or something like that. That's because people in the business uh, look at it, they change their mind on things, they have different requests. That's something that's never going to change. The AI is not going to get it perfect straight away. So it's, on the it's, it's kind of working on soft skills, working with people is a big part of the job as a designer. Everybody has an opinion on design. We're kind of the conduits for getting those ideas and putting them, kind of telling the AI what to do. So we're going to be the person who takes the ideas from the business, formulates them into kind of like a plan and giving that plan to the AI to produce. I think they're still going to need someone to basically take all these different opinions and formulate them into something good because design by committee is never good. So I think that human person working kind of in junction with the AI it is, is going to still be needed and really working on your soft skills of making sure you're a good team player, working with people in the business, that's always going to be needed. And then I do see the role evolving into more of a kind of like a design manager than an actual designer. So these tools are going to be able to do tasks for us. So they will be able to do like make a persona or help me analyze these bits of information. They're very, very good at the actual practical things. But so as a, as a design manager, this is stuff that you will tell other designers or ask them to do for you. You'll give them tasks. So I see kind of everybody becoming more of a design manager. So you'll be working with the AI, giving it tasks to do. It will be giving those tasks back to you. And then you'll be kind of giving feedback and improving on them. And there's loads of different AIs that are coming out. Like you could use ChatGPT for creating personas. Figma's got AI for, um, it even does automatic prototyping now so we're going to be still using loads and loads of different tools but i see our roles kind of becoming more managerial so in essence i don't think that they're going to take design roles i think designers are just going to become more i guess human 
Uh, I think that, that that's the way I'm going to look at it. So uh, I guess if I'm still around and I'm right, I'll see you next year. But if not, I guess an AI will just replace this YouTube channel too.